Tuka Design is an intuitive, user-friendly tool which will help pattern makers to keep up with intense consumer demand for well-fitting garments. This video will help you get started with this powerful software for pattern making and grading. We'll even show you a few tricks to maximize the value of information throughout your organization and global supply chain. Before we begin, we want you to know that this software and its video help are available in multiple languages. Hello and welcome to Tuka Tech's Tuka Bienvenidos al programa de Tuka Tech y Tuka Design. Oh, y bienvenuto a Tuka CAD y Tuka Design. Tuka Design so apreciated Windows per aadhaar yeah. software. Yindi ton rap than su program Tuka Tech Tuka. If you prefer to use the software in another language, email support at tukatech.com and we'll help you switch over. Tuga Design is a Windows-based apparel CAD pattern making and grading software. It is compatible with all Windows operating systems and even Windows servers. The program takes full advantage of the Windows operating system, from shortcuts like Ctrl-C and Ctrl-V for copy and paste, to powerful multitasking and multiprocessing operations, which we will explain later. If you need to use Tuka CAD on a Mac computer, First install Windows using a program such as Bootcamp, Parallels, or VMware Fusion to turn your computer into a virtual machine. Then Tuka CAD can be installed on the virtual Windows. We can begin by opening a folder on your computer's C drive called Tuka Data. Inside Tuka Data, you'll find folders containing basic blocks, subdivided by category for children, men, and women. We suggest you create a similar structure of folders and subfolders for your organization. Sorting your files by product, category, season, and other factors helps even non-CAD users to find information about every file. These Tuka Design Style Files, or TUD files, contain all pattern pieces and grading in one place. Tuka Design comes preloaded with a library of styles, and you can find more in the Tuka Web Marketplace starting at only $5 per pattern. In paper pattern making, a pattern hook holds all pieces for the self, contrast, and fusing, and all graded sizes. Similarly, in Tuka Design, we have one style, one file, with all information for every piece included. From the File Explorer, hover over a Tuka Design style file to see who created it and when, the number of pattern pieces, or even how many graded sizes there are. You can even attach a preview to the pattern, which makes it easier to understand what style the pattern belongs to. This can be a sketch, 3D rendering, or photograph of the style. If you do not see this information or the preview images, make sure to install the Tuka Info program that came with your Tuka CAD software. Now select a style file and double click to open it in Tuka Design. There are four main parts to the interface menus, toolbars, the working area, and the piece bar on the left. Make the toolbar icons larger by going to View, Toolbars, Customize, and select large buttons. Select a piece from the piece bar and it will come into the working area. Select a piece in the working area and use the delete key on your keyboard. Don't worry, this will only remove the piece from the working area, not the style. In the piece bar, right click on a piece and select delete piece from style to remove it completely from your pattern. The toolbars are organized for various pattern making functions. When you hover over a tool, it displays the tool name and the keyboard shortcut and a description of the tool appears at the bottom left in the status bar. When you select a tool that requires multiple steps, the bottom right corner displays instructions for the next step. For example, we can select the Move Parallel tool, then follow the instructions.
notice that your mouse cursor changes depending on which tool is selected. When you click on the measuring tool, you now have a tape measure in your hand. If you wish to cut the piece, you can click on the scissors, and now you are holding a pair of scissors. To draw something, pick up the draft tool and now you have a pencil in your hand. When finished with a tool, simply right mouse click to go back to the selection tool. There are two ways to learn how to use each of these tools. If you'd like to read about a tool, select context help, then click the tool you want to learn about. This will open the Tuka Design help instructions for that tool. If you prefer to watch a short video about the tool, select Video Help, then click the tool to open a video explaining how to use it. From the Help dialogs, you can drill down to learn about every tool. We recommend watching a few videos every day so you learn about all the great features in the Tuka Design software. Click the global info icon to see information about this style. Information changed here will apply to all pieces. For example, you can make your master block pattern pieces read only so they cannot be changed without making a copy first. There are also pattern engineering options for when this pattern goes to production, such as buffers and marker rotations. This information can also be changed piece by piece. Double click a piece to see the piece info. Here you can give a piece a new name, change the quantity per bundle, view the area of the piece, and more. This piece has two contours. The solid green line is the sewing line contour, and the dotted white line is the seam allowance. This piece is set to half, and also has a dart, an internal style line, and some notches. All pattern pieces have a grain line to show the direction of the fabric. When you select an internal element, there is a selection box around it. If you want information about a point or internal, double click on it and the information dialog box will appear. Double click on a notch to see all the information for the notch. In any of these dialogs, you can also change the parameters of the internal. Double click on the dart to see all the information about the dart. If you need to delete something from a pattern piece, select it and use the delete key on your keyboard. Tuga Design is a point-based CAD system, meaning that the shape of the pattern is controlled by points. Pattern pieces in Tuga Design are a closed contour shape of at least three points. Double click on a point to see what type of point it is. A point can be a grading point, a grading curve point, a curve point, or a non-grading non-curve point. When adding or moving points around a pattern piece, you can use absolute measurements or proportional values in relation to either the previous or next grading point. This is determined in a clockwise direction. We could add a point along this segment 75% of the way proportionally from the previous point, and the system will also display the value as an absolute measurement. We could instead specify an absolute value of two inches from the next point, and the system will recalculate the proportional measurements automatically. Tuka Design Dialogues have a built-in calculator. For example, pick up the Move Point tool, and when the dialog pops up, Enter an equation such as 2.75 divided by 2 in x, and the system will calculate the final value and move the point accordingly. The calculator can add, subtract, divide, multiply, and even do more complex equations. Tuka Design is designed to work the way pattern makers think with many functions controlled with step-by-step -step dialog boxes. The software takes full advantage of Windows multitasking features, so you can add fullness or multiple pleats or darts in a single step. For example, we can slash and spread this 20-inch rectangle piece to open up fullness. 
Select the segment to slash by clicking and dragging from point to point in a clockwise direction, and just fill out the form with the specifications you need. Here we can say we want to make 10 slashes, and we want them all to open up one inch. Click OK, and now we have a 30 inch segment at the top, and the bottom segment remains at 20 inches. Similarly, we can add multiple pleats along the segment. The dialog box will remind you of the options available when making a pleat. First, we decide whether we want a box pleat or a knife pleat. Then we are given the option to have the knife pleat fold in a clockwise or counterclockwise direction. Let's specify the pleat depth at one inch and the number of pleats as four. Click OK, and the system opens the pattern and gives notches indicating where the pleats will fold. In the Pleats menu, we can close all pleats and see where the fold lines will be, and the finished segment length remains at 20 inches. The measurement chart in Tuka Design is one of the most important features for quality checking. Instead of cutting and sewing a sample and then measuring at each point of measure to see if the garment is on spec, you can verify what the finished measurement of this pattern will be from the Tuka Design measurement chart. For example, after this pattern has been cut, sewn, and finished, the waist measurement will be 29 and a half inches. Pattern makers can check these values against the specifications given by the designer and correct the pattern before making a physical sample. Understanding this will save a lot of time in product development and quality checking. In the Details by Pieces view, we can see where each measurement comes from by clicking on the measurement name. Some measurements, like the waist, are added up between multiple pieces, in this case, a front and a back. The measurement chart shows how the total is distributed between the pieces. If we change the measurement, for example, by increasing from 29 and a half to 30 inches, the system will adjust the pattern to the new specification, proportionally maintaining the distribution between the pieces. Because this pattern is graded, we can also check the measurements across the entire size range. In Tuka Design, the grading follows any pattern adjustment, so after we change the waist measurement, it is adjusted in the grading as well. When set up properly with measurement lines and grading, any style can become a reference block to quickly create new styles. In pre-production, patterns often need to be scaled to accommodate shrinkage in the fabric due to washing, fusing, or other finishing techniques. Enter the shrinkage values to see what the before wash and after wash measurements will be. Share this report with the quality checking team using Tuka Design's built-in Excel reporting tools. Click the Excel button to save the measurement chart. Excel is one of the most popular software tools in the world, but you can also use OpenOffice to view these reports. This report shows the before and after wash measurements for every size and includes the shrinkage percentages given for this pattern. In the Reports tab, there are also options to create a summary report, a pattern card, or a pieces list. We can add the pattern card to the measurement chart file we already made by selecting Append to Existing File. Now the Excel file has two tabs, one for the pattern card we just made and one for the measurement chart from before. We can append more sheets as we build reports from Tuka Design and even include sheets with reports from the Tuka Mark software for marker making. These reports can function like a mini PLM system, including as much detail as you need so management can track the progress of a style without needing their own CAD station. The reference line shows you the original shape of the piece compared to the current shape of the piece. This is especially useful if you are adjusting a pattern after receiving corrections. For example, let's say we need to drop the sleeve cap. The original shape is here as a reference line, 
so we can compare the new shape to the old one. Even if we delete points from this piece, the old piece will still be there as a reference line. To revert back to the original shape, come up to the Edit menu and select Restore by Reference Block. The system will swap the lines, so now this is the reference line, and this is the current piece shape. Select the reference line and delete it when you are done. Save the pattern and write a comment describing what you did to this piece. This comment is added to the style's history log so everyone can track who made what changes and when. There are lots of ways to effortlessly start drafting a new pattern from scratch, whether from simple shapes like rectangles and circles or more complex shapes like ruffles and compound circles. Click on the Ruffle tool and enter the specifications in the dialog box. For sewing length, we'll use 24 inches. Then we'll have the first width be one inch and have it grow wider up to six inches. The offset means offset from center. We can leave that at zero. The gap is the distance between each spiral of the ruffle. Here we can use half an inch and click OK. Now we can see this ruffle starts at one inch thick in the center and grows to six inches. The inside spiral length is the 24 inches we gave for the sewing length, and the system automatically calculated the outside spiral length to be 65 and 3 quarters inches. Try plugging in different values to make ruffles of different lengths, widths, and spiral density. Another easy way to start a new pattern is to let Tuka Design make one for you. With the new Automatic Pattern Making Module, or Tuka APM, a person of any skill level can create a graded pattern in only a few seconds. Select the pattern you wish to make and enter the measurements. Add the sizes for grading and specify grade rules in length and width. Click Generate and the system will create the pattern for you. Once you have a pattern to work with, you can make changes to the style lines or grading until you have the silhouette you like. Get Tuka APM on subscription only from tukaweb.com. If you ever accidentally delete your pattern or lose your work due to a power outage or computer crash, don't worry. You can find a backup copy of your pattern in your computer C drive in the backup folder. You can select a different backup folder in Tools, Options, or change the backup interval time. After you are done creating your pattern, go to Edit Arrange Work Area to make a quick layout of the pieces. Just enter the width of your fabric and the gap you want between the pieces and click OK. The system will give you a quick layout so you can plot your pattern without needing to make a marker. Save the file, then send it to a plotter or print it on your home printer. You can also send it as an attachment in an email or request plotting services from tukaweb.com. Now that you know the basics of the Tuka Design software, watch through the video help to learn how to use all the tools. For more in-depth lessons on how to use Tuka CAD, enroll in the Getting Started with Tuka CAD online training course available at academy.tukatech.com.